Hi there, welcome to the all new episode of Fonda Talk. I'm Amit and here's Karthik and today we're going to talk about 6 important news of the day. Starting off with Blackberry. Blackberry came out with an early day announcement with a new smartphone called as the DTEK50. Again, this is a rebranded phone of Alcatel Idol 4, uh, which is again Alcatel One Touch Idol 4, uh, which is uh, primarily because uh, TCL or Al- is actually manufacturing the phone. TCL is a parent company and uh, Blackberry is reselling the rebranded Alcatel smartphone at a price of $300. Again, this is a second uh, Android smartphone from Blackberry and uh, they're selling this as the world's most safest smartphone we shall only know once uh, someone actually tests that uh, this is just started uh, selling in the us and uh, it's selling as an unlocked smartphone so generally you see all the smartphones in the us to be locked to some networks but this one is not locked to any network so that's about the blackberry's latest smartphone which has been launched you can check out the links in the description for all the news which we covered today to know more about the same yeah and then uh, for following up to the next news we have uh, the news from opera so Opera Mini has updated their uh, application for Android. Uh, this new up- this new update consists of a very major update. Uh, now you can actually download videos and to save it to save it for offline feature, and you can uh, view, view it anytime from your SD card and stuff. So basically, essentially, you can uh, download this uh, videos from any website as of now. And as far as social media is concerned, you have a couple of them uh, from Facebook, Instagram, etc. So uh, uh, it's as it's very simple to do it. Once you visit the website, you just have to click the button. There'll be a button there stating download the video, and you can download it and you turn it up on SD card. So, so that's more like a convenience feature, user browser yeah. that obviously offers you with the download feature itself. Yeah. Talking about the next news of the day is from Motorola. So if you're someone who's looking forward to the Moto Z or the new Moto Z flagship smartphones which are coming with Moto Mods or even the Moto G4 then you shouldn't actually take this decision right away because uh, Motorola has announced that they would be offering the monthly security updates and uh, Motorola being that brand which was always first in pushing the software updates is now taking this step which is a big deal because they are saying that it's because of the permissions and also the other reasons because of which these uh, updates actually take a lot of time to send it to the users and that's the reason they're taking this important uh, step of not providing the monthly software updates but they would be only providing once it's really important Mm -hmm. so that would be more like bundling all the security updates and sending it in one go so that's something very important to know because uh, Motorola as we know was one of the company which was uh, which used to send the updates in the most fastest way and that was a brand which where we used to find the uh, software updates first so moving on to the next one is from uh, Google yeah so basically, Google has uh, uh, launched a mini website kind of thing where it's just giving out all the tips and tricks about the Android operating system. So it's actually a very good initiative according to me because if you are a new Android ecosystem adapter or if you're you know moving from iOS or any other operating system, it might get a little bit difficult for you to get used to the operating system here. So I think it's a very good initiative from Google that uh, they have given all the tips and tricks. Uh, as of now, I think there are only 48 tips they have given. But then uh, an important point to make a note here is it's not about self-bragging, but you know, uh, there are 48 tips. Most of them are already on phone radar. So what's Google trying to attain here? Like we, or as a bloggers community, are already covering all the tips and tricks. So again, that's probably targeted towards the first-time Android users mm-hmm. who yeah. are for whom it's hard to find the information. Yeah. So in that case, yes, it's divided into few categories, and uh, you can find all the information about the different tips and tricks which Google is offering on their own mini website. Moving on to the next uh, Rio news, Olympics is happening and uh, there's some new news from Lenovo. Yeah, so basically Lenovo is launching a new, uh, this all, they already launched this device previously, that's the uh, uh, ZUK Z2. And now they're launching a Rio uh, 2016 edition of this phone. So it's, it's nothing new, it's all the similar, but in, uh, the only difference being the regular version of this one, uh, the, only the, the RAM is less than the previous version. The, now we have only 3GB of RAM, or it was 4GB, and then the internal storage is brought down, down to 32GB now. So it's more like a uh, downgraded like, version. Yeah, downgraded version. And on the same lines of the Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, Olympics, or some longer yeah. name which we had earlier from Samsung. S7 Edge, yeah. S7 Edge which was the Olympics edition. Yeah, the only thing to notice here is there's no physical uh, logo or anything on the device here on the Lenovo's phone. Probably the reason for that is because uh, Samsung is the only uh, sole partner. Official for, yeah. sponsor or something. So probably they, they don't allow us to do it. So the only difference, the only thing that you can uh, get with this phone is the wallpapers and themes and etc. Okay, so that's coming from Lenovo. You can uh, read the links in the description yeah. to know more about this. And finally, we're talking about the Xiaomi's latest smartphone which has been launched in China. It's a Redmi Pro about which we have been hearing from a long time. It comes with a 30 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel 
Pixel front camera, a 5.5 inches 1080p display and an OLED display. And apart from that, it comes in the price range. Again, this uh, is on a premium price range in terms of the Redmi devices. And uh, once it's coming to India, we should be expecting this device to be priced in between 15,000 to 20,000 rupees, not the 10,000 rupees uh, price range which we had seen with the Redmi Note 3 smartphone in India. So that's about the Xiaomi's Redmi Pro smartphone which has been launched in China. And apart from that, Xiaomi has come up with a new MacBook clone. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about the Xiaomi's MacBook, but it's actually a MacBook uh, Air's clone which Xiaomi has launched and uh, obviously I won't be seeing it in India, so no point talking about that. But if you're interested to know more about that, check out all the links of all the news which we have covered today in the links in the description area below. So this was a phone talk of the day. Don't forget the question of the day. The important question of the day is that would you actually buy a BlackBerry smartphone because of the security features at a price of $300 but do make a note that this is the first time BlackBerry has actually pri uh, priced their phones appropriately unlike earlier it was uh, very highly priced. So will you buy the BlackBerry's uh, DTEC 50 at $300? Yes or no? Let, let us know in the comment section below. So this was the phone talk of the day. I am Amit and here is Karthik and we hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.